Hey Ubers! Well it was pouring rain all day today which is pretty miserable so I sort of uh, didn't get a lot of farm work done but I did manage to uh, stay in the studio and um, play around with some um, ideas uh, working on my uh, box that I'm going to be sending to Greg and I'm just about finished which I'm really really happy with um, also um, I'm going to show you a box that I've started working on today um, and um, isn't it funny how you just get ideas that just pop out of the middle of nowhere and I always put it down to uh, the uh, creative genius talking to me um, because I don't think anything that I do actually comes from me because you know I don't know how I can think up half of the shit that I come up with it's like what it's just how, how do you how does you know do you ever feel that like you just think where the hell did I get that idea from like it's just so beyond what you would normally even try and think about um, and you know I look at the stuff that I've created over the years and I think what the hell where did that all come from like like you know and even Eric says to me he goes he always says to me all the time where did you get how did you come up with that idea like how did you even think about doing it that way um, and you know I'll just put it down to it's not me but I'm just like the vehicle um, you know I'm receptive I'm open and when um, the creative genius speaks they speak to me and I just go with the flow so I don't know if you think about feel the same way or, or that but that's that's what I think anyway and I'm sticking to it um, so anyway, a couple of years ago, um, I was um, at this Home Depot store in a place called Stavanger, which is like an hour away, um, and I came across this really awesome artwork, and it's one of those artworks that you see and you'll always remember. Uh, it had the wow factor. Um, basically, it was um, an artwork behind plexiglass, and what the artists had done is they'd carved out hundreds and hundreds of butterflies uh, quite small about that, I guess in the diameter would be about that round um, hundreds and hundreds of them and then just like out of paper and then just put like a pin through them um, and then arrange them on I guess I think they used like styrofoam board and then they they painted it uh, I think it was white or can't remember cream or something and then they placed all of the, these butterflies on it in a pattern like they're all fluttering up sort of thing amazing they were like the subtle changes in colors they were like all light blues and then suddenly got a little bit deeper and then it, it was very ephemeral ephemeral <laughs> ephemeral <laughs> yeah you know what I mean it was really it was amazing anyway getting back to my story Today I was just playing around with the box and that came into my head for some bizarre reason. So I went up on the internet, looked around, got heap butterflies, uh, printed them out on transparency paper and then started cutting them out um, and um, started gluing them on the box. So this is my latest box and as you can see, you know, I've started to position them. Some are forward, more forward than others. Um, and I just really like that idea and I'm actually going to suspend a couple um, that are like flying so I put some on little bits of metal and I'm going to suspend them from the sides and have them floating like over it over it and stuff um, and then create my assemblage inside which may be even more butterflies like a box of butterflies. I have that idea for some reason. Um, so yeah, it's a very girly box. <laughs> it's very pink and girly and um, butterflies and yeah, very uh, curvaceous curves and yeah. I don't know where that's coming from, but anyway, I like it. I like it. So we'll see. So I started making a a very small little assemblage artwork and I'll just show you now. So this is the small assemblage that I've started on. Um, nothing's glued down, I'm just placing stuff, but this is where I originally got the ideas to put the butterflies on. Um, so I'm going to suspend a couple of butterflies um, 
on it like so and I'm going to probably put another one just on the edge there another one there and I'm going to finish decorating this one up now these are really small as you can see compared to my hand but I decided I'm going to make a few of these up to I guess sell on Etsy eventually when I when I get my act together again um, because it's really they're small they're easy to pack and easy to ship rather as if the big boxes they the big assemblage artworks are going to take a bit of time to you know pack up so I thought I'd just create a heap of small little stuff um, while I'm at it so this was a this was a lot of fun so the original idea for the textures uh, from this painting uh, actually came from uh, my observations of uh, a piece of um, birch tree um, I just love the pattern and uh, the texture and colors that uh, you can get um, this one's quite white but you can get ones with lots more pink in it um, just amazing color combinations so I just basically copied from nature uh, but I guess mine are a lot more they're less random they're more ordered lines um, but um, yeah I'm gonna do a couple more in this uh, series and I guess I'm probably going to do a lot more uh, mimic the patterns a lot closer than uh, what I've done previously I just think it would be uh, a nice change but beautiful I just love bark so this is the almost finished box that I'm sending to Greg all I have to do now is add two more roses on uh, to this side is on there and um, we're pretty much done um, what did I add today I added these I added a bit more pink um, I added these little knobby things on the end put plexiglass on the sides uh, up the top I added the I added some grass and a couple of knobby things I don't know where I got those from but I thought they looked cool I love that grass I know it's kitsch but I love a little bit of kitsch here and there um, so overall I think it turned out to be quite a nice box um, all I have to do now is um, cut the plexiglass to go over here which will go underneath so you can seal it so and um, put a hanger on the back and then um, I'm pretty much ready to go so it'll be interesting to see what uh, Greg comes up with um, I'm sure he'll come up with something really excellent and um, I'm looking forward to getting his box alright guys that's it have a great creative week and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Later.